Compare the structure of the eye and the camera. We've got some keywords here to help us in our comparison, and in a moment we'll make a, a table to summarize the differences and the similarities. To start with, a camera uses convex lenses, and so does the eye. The camera lens, however, is a fixed shape, it's a set shape, but it can be moved backwards and forwards so that the camera can focus the image on the film. So that means that the lens has a, a set shape but a variable position. The eye, on the other hand, can change the shape of the lens via the ciliary muscles and the suspensory ligaments, but the lens is fixed in position. So they're kind of opposites really. Camera has a set shape, variable position, whereas the eye is fixed in position and can change its shape and therefore its focusing ability. But both of them use convex lenses. What about controlling how much light gets in? Well, here we can see a little hole and that's known as the aperture. That can be varied, so the opening can be expanded or contracted to let more or less light in to expose the film adequately. In the eyes case, in front of the lens, we have a ring of muscle called the iris and that ring of muscle can be expanded or contracted to do the same job. So that's a similarity. Finally, what about light detection? Well, in a camera, the light hits a film or a charged coupled device. And that's a sensitive electronic device which can turn light into pulses of electricity. But the traditional method in a camera is to use a light sensitive film. In the eye, the retina at the back of the eye is the equivalent. That's the film, if you like. And that has lots of light sensitive cells, rods and cones, which then turn that light into electrical impulses along the nerves. So let's take these keywords and summarize them in the table. Okay, so we'll have the eye here and we'll have camera here. Uh, let's uh, talk about the lens used. Let's talk about the light control, how much light we let in. And let's also compare light detection. Detection. So first of all, the eye can change the lens shape. So can change shape. It's stretched or relaxed and that changes its shape. It's fixed in position though in the eye. Fixed position and it uses a convex lens. The camera on the other hand has a set shape, but it has a variable position enabling it to focus. Position. And it also uses a convex lens. What about light control? In the case of the eye, the iris is that ring of muscle which can expand or contract and the in the camera the aperture so both of these we'll put down here so the opening can be expanded or contracted to let more or less light in. Okay, so that's the same for both the eye and the camera. Light detection. The eye 
uses the light sensitive cells of the retina. Sensitive cells of the retina. And the equivalent is the light sensitive film. Sensitive film or charged coupled device, CCD. So there's a comparison between the eye and the camera, similarities and the differences. Good thing to remember because you may be asked to compare the two.